Hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to Nanoly Zedon. I'm your host, Shadow Fury 333, and today we're going to be starting out, actually, exhibition matches. I should point out, I realize normally Tuesdays has been my first person day, but there were some requests from Aurelius, so I'm going to be doing a few request games. I don't think I'll be doing any FP Vlog stuff afterwards, but I will be doing these. So, that's what's up. That's what we'll be seeing. Starting out is going to be Orphelius and Rara on Avalanche, which I mean, I've pointed out the map before. I quite like it. It's a bit of a small but relatively interesting map just because of the way that you do need to worry about the south due to its size, but then the north ends up sneaking up on you if you don't pay attention to it either. Though most of the time I find players tend to just bottleneck in the center, which I think rather doesn't do the ser doesn't do the map really a good service, but whatever. Bots can actually go through these cliffs as well. The ones down here. I think the ones up here they can't. But the ones... Yeah, that's right. The ones up here, they cannot. And the ones down here, there are spaces. At least for smaller bots. So it's a bit tricky. There's a lot of rating that come up in this map. And it's really cool to see them. Hopefully we'll see them. I see that RAR is going for shield bot factory, so we will see from them. Whereas with Orphelius, they're going for the light vehicle factory, which, of course, can't do what I just mentioned. Normally, what I see of a light vehicle here is usually either the standard Scorcher dive, or you'll see a bunch of slashers. Slasher push into the mid-range, or into the... not mid-range, but rather the middle of the map. Like I said, the front line of the middle lane, as it were. And we see Rar going very quickly economical. I mean, we should expect Rar is going to be going for a commander-based strategy, build a commander, probably have some thugs following up the commander. That's usually what they do. It'll be interesting to see if they do something else. The size of this map would suggest that it wouldn't support it, but then we last saw them do that on an even smaller map, or at least on a map with closer start points. So I don't really... Yeah, Altier Crossing, because of the way the start points are laid out, it's kind of a smaller rush... To... It's a smaller rush distance. And it looks like Orphelius is going more for these... Well, that's still Scouting Scorchers. That's not a strategy yet. Two Scorched is just, I want to see what's going on and don't want to lose everything in the first pass of doing so. Rar, at the same time, they clearly are very paranoid about being attacked at the low ground, going down to the low ground, and it looks like they are not trying to invest too heavily into it. Just being paranoid. Properly so, but paranoid nonetheless. Very much, I mean, do notice they are in the corner, which is unusual. Normally, where Orphelius has started is fairly typical. You push a bit forward... You put your factory a fair ways away from the corner, and then you build back and defend a bit. It's a bit harder to defend, which is probably why Rar is doing it this way, because this is easier to defend. But it also means that it's a bit harder to get forward. That is, your defender's advantage when it comes to building units to help out. It's a bit... It kind of works both ways, but overall, you just have a longer rush distance as a result of the factory being further back. And then you're going to have to try to fight for territory further up. It's tricky. Like, knowing where to put your factory at the start of the match is kind of a tricky trade-off. And Orphelius going for the scouting, finally getting those Scorchers out there. And there's the Slasher I was looking for. All right, so we are seeing Orphelius trying to take the center with Slashers. And Rar pretty much going entirely for the low ground. And that is... Oh. Someone pointing out the... Questioning the version of the game, I didn't actually check. The version is 1.4.2.10. This is a re this is the current version of the game. All of these replays are the current version of the game. If the model looks small, I don't know why that would be exactly. Perhaps it's because it's only level one so far. Oh no, level two. My mistake. And we are seeing machine gun and armor. So Rar definitely going for the assaulty commander. And using the strike com for that. That makes sense. Or Philly is one for the recon com, which is. Interesting. I mean, it's a bit easier to jump around. I mean, it can jump around. That's what it does. It jumps. But it's, I mean, as you can see, it's a jumpy commander. But it's not very good once combat starts. Thus, the slashers. Normally, I see economy command here, though, or kind of an economy recon mix. Battle, if you're going to see a bunch, or I guess Guardian now, if you're going to see a bunch of commanders going forward, like Rar would do, or Rar going for the strike commander instead, which also makes sense. But yeah. Oh, sorry, Google Frog pointing out 1.4.2.11 is the latest version. That's true. That is a slightly later version. But this version is definitely post-Dynamic Commanders. And Battle finally getting joined. Taking longer than usual. 
I'm actually kind of surprised. Neither player really scattered each other out. The Slasher's not doing especially well. Should point out, Orphilius has not actually seen that Rar was going for shield. This, this is the first they knew about it. Orphilius surprisingly didn't go for an early dart to actually see what was going on. And Rar, they do have dirt bags, and those dirt bags were sent out, but they... Well, I mean, at this point, they've found out what they needed to find out. And that doesn't really help much, does it? I mean, Rar is actually in an advantageous position right now. Not... Are they going to upgrade the commander yet? Oh, yeah. They're probably going to upgrade it pretty soon. They already have, like I said. First upgrade. For those of you not familiar, level 2 is the new level 1. Everything starts at level 1 now and goes up. So everything's counting in Lua terms rather than everyone else's computer standard terms. But also natural numbers, which people that aren't programmers generally use. And Orphelius trying to find uneven terms with an uneven commander, and it's going to completely blow up in their face. Wow. Or not. 40 health left. There is the thug coming in. A couple bandits. Thug. I mean, Orphelius and the bandits are right on par. The thug needs one lucky shot, and there it is. Wow. Okay. Hero thought Orphelius would have a way out of that, but they did not. Rar able to push in. And at this point, Orphelius, what do they have in the back? A couple levelers to get rid of the bandits, which are doing doing a bang-up job, as we can see right now. Three whole bandits getting through once. Well, not quite unscathed, but yeah. The one leveler should help, but there's so much damage that's been dealt so far. And just Orphelius' economy difference right now. Orphelius with 14 medals, 18. Losing the commander, too, so that, that would have been parity. Rar upgrading once again, because why not? He is low on energy, though. Rar does need to get a bit more energy. 16 energy is not enough. For 18 metal and the upgrading commander using up the entire stores. Orphelius actually kind of has a way back in thanks to that upgrade timing. This is actually really terrible upgrade timing because, I mean, Orphelius is now just, they're po focusing on units entirely. They're getting Ravagers and Levelers, which against this composition is pretty strong. The Levelers do fairly well against the Thugs. The Ravagers are just great meat shields. And the Levelers, of course, do, I mean, with greater numbers, will do well against Bandits. And once again, you have the meat shield. Rar's commander. Upgraded once again, going for auto repair and more HP. So at this point, 4900 HP and heals 23 per second. I'm reading that right. Yes, I actually... Yep, that's that's about right. That plus, that plus health thing and it seems plus shields, I'm not sure when it came in, but it is very handy to have. I'm very glad that was added because I, I don't know when those added in. Thank you whoever added that in. I didn't check the change log for that particular commit or look for that particular commit. But yeah, that is awesome. And Dorsh levelers do well, do fairly well versus Thug because of their splash damage. That's pretty much it. Levelers splash beyond the Thug shield, so they're able to bypass the Thug shield and hit the Thug directly. Against single Thugs, no. Levelers aren't that great of an option. Against a large group of Thugs, they're pretty good. Levelers can... They can't really move around the shots too much, but the Thug shots are fairly inaccurate. And the splash damage against a large group of thugs means they're all taking real damage. And <laughs> spectators pointing out Dominatrix would be a good idea around here because, well, we have a Strider level commander right now. At level 3 with, well, we already saw the, the upgrades so far, but still 4100 health at 1900 metal cost. Yeah, it's, it's in Demi Strider territory. But it looks like Orphelius continuing with the Ravagers. They are just, they want to have a more general purpose army. And over to the south, not realizing, but now the hard way learning, Rar was over to the south. Orphelius with the north, Rar to the south, and Orphelius 10 metal behind Rar. Dominatrix actually sounds like a pretty good, if somewhat desperate, play right now. And it looks like Wolverine is instead the play, trying to get rid of, looks like probably the southern defenses, instead of to get rid of these defenders, and then from there, although, no, that wouldn't be right. I mean, they might do that, but that would be kind of silly. Of course, the better option would be going along the center. Wolverines are slow enough that it would be best, and as they're normally used to take the center, they could get rid of these defenders fairly easily. It's just that that would require the Wolverines, because Wolverine fire range is, actually, no, wait, no, no, it's big enough. Yeah, they could. Needed to double check that, but yeah, they are definitely, if they go over right here, they could deal with these defenders from the middle ground. That would work quite beautifully, actually. However, that assumes they survive. And that assumption appears to be very much unsafe. Forcing Orphelius to back off again as Rar's commander upgrades to level 4. Halfway done that upgrade, 
Rar's still accessing metal, still low on energy. But I don't think they really care with all the damage they're able to deal. I don't think they care about the fact that their energy is relatively low. They are reclaiming to get that metal, so yeah, I would think good idea to do so. And Scorcher, that is our option to get rid of the south. I totally missed that, I apologize. But that is that is fine, because we did see the result. The Scorcher able to just cut a swath through those defenses. Well, Scorcher is about four or five of them. But, ah, three of them. Only three. And one of them in the back, Orphelius not paying attention to that, though. Orphelius much more focused on the front lines, realizing the Scorcher has actually achieved its task and not died valiantly for its purpose. Moving on, but now it's died valiantly. Well, actually, that was a rather foolish death, but honestly, I had no idea. But now it does. The important thing, however, is Rar's commander, and it looks like Scorchers are the answer that Orphelius is going for. Wants to go for a commander dive. I don't know that I agree. It's almost 6,000 health. And regenerates 30 per second. I don't think that's necessarily out of combat regeneration. And there's a machine gun, and it slows everything down with the disruptor bomb. It's that. That was very apt. And Orphelius deciding that is it. That's all they can do. Throwing in the towel, rather short game that. These might be shorter games. I mean, okay, they're actually pretty standardish size games, but on the shorter end. Yeah, that. Wow, okay. Level 4 Commander did his job, I suppose. That's, that's a thing. Does what it does well. Even if it looks ugly as sin. Anyhow. Well, the face, I mean... Yeah. Yeah, it's very robotic. Anyway, we're going to be moving on to another game, which is going to be Orphelius versus... I didn't check if these... Oh, these are all Rar versus Orphelius. So it's three matches in a row, Rar versus Orphelius. Next match will be on Altier Crossing, which was the last match we saw or Rar on, not Orphelius, mind you. So stay tuned for that. That'll be up in just a moment.